guys we back again with another video it's been about a week since i posted the video um but we're here you know it's monday it's a new week um i didn't do any videos last week because i went pretty much the same place you know i went to theodore alabama then i went up to north georgia and then um I went actually I went over into Charlotte from there and then I went to Tampa so I kind of like stayed in that area whatever you guys seen those runs before if you haven't seen some of my vlogs um, you've seen it before so I didn't feel like I wanted to um, do another vlog of going pretty much the same places you know we do the little vlogs where you know I kind of show you guys my day-to-day -day what I'll be doing but um, I did want to get on here and talk about you know a lot of the comments that I get um, particularly the ones that I get more often and frequently somebody always posting that they make 13 or fourteen hundred dollars a week in their home every night and stuff like that you know as a company driver you know a w-2 employee so I got to thinking to myself and doing some basic calculations of how is that so um, you guys see my check you know what I make but these guys are pretty much people who are watching my old video with Sierra England um, saying that hell 12 or 1300 dollars a week ain't, ain't no money and believe it or not I was w-2 employee you know with Sierra England I'm sure you can believe that right because they're the worst company you know so people say in the whole trucking industry so um, I got to do some calculations I remember times where I made thirteen hundred dollars a week um, that was weeks that I've made or grossed right fifteen or sixteen hundred seventeen hundred to bring home thirteen hundred and these guys are making this as company drivers going home every day so if you do some basic math like um either they're telling lies or maybe they got hella dependence um but everybody's circumstances are going to be different is what i'm trying to say so you want to hype up the fact that you're making thirteen hundred dollars a week as a w-2 employee but how so you actually have to be making at least over fifteen to sixteen hundred dollars a week and i'm pretty sure that if you were making 50 cents a mile you wouldn't be bringing that home not a week i mean do some basic math um and on average i don't care what you say we do have hours of service so you're not running over maybe you are running over your hours of service but if you're following the hours of service guidelines you can only run 25 2800 miles consistently it has been some weeks to where things landed just right and i was doing dropping hooks and i was able to get 3,000 miles in but on average when you're out here on average 25 2800 miles is what you're going to get especially if you're not doing dropping hooks you got to wait you know what I'm saying, for live loads and things like that, I just don't see it on a consistent basis. So, um, a lot of those things that you guys say in the comment section, just because you know other people are gonna read it, is false. And I don't like to give out false information, but um, it's been, if you guys have been following my channel since I started, I post my first checking video, I think about November 2016. So it's almost been two years and you guys are, you guys are still here still watching my journey still watching how much i've grown and how far i've come um but with that being said i just want to thank you guys as always for watching my videos and um just don't pay attention to what the people be leaving in the comment section especially when it comes to pay um and that leads people to be asking me where i work at because you've seen my progress and my i mean you've seen me progress right from from cr england to where i'm at now um and you can see all the emails that I get. I, I try to respond to everybody. And then, you know, if I feel like, you know, you're sincere and you're serious about, you know, the questions that you ask me, I don't mind at all. You know, I'm letting anybody know. You know, I'm just not blasting it out there because people also say, oh, you need to tell where you work at, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I do tell the people, people that are sincerely wanting to, you know, find a better opportunity than what they are in now. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be out there telling, you know, everybody, especially, those who be emailing me and you have absolutely no interest in the company that i work for you just being nosy you see what i'm saying so i don't i don't understand that either that's kind of weird for you to want to know what somebody working at don't you have a job like like where you work at you guys have jobs and you want to know where i work at and you have absolutely no interest in doing what i'm doing so i kind of find that kind of weird that people be wanting to know where i work at and, and and all of that but 
If you are sincerely want to know where I'm at, what I'm doing, email me. I'll tell you. People over at the job know because like these people at the job where I'm at, they know me personally. It's not a huge company. So if I send, it's not like one of these big companies where you send somebody, you know, and they go by your driver code or ID number or something like that to figure out who it is that referred the person. It's not like that. Um, I go into the office, you know, a couple times a week. Some It's been some weeks that I don't see the office at all, but I go in the office all the time they know exactly who I am they know me by name which they know everybody by name we're not very very huge to where you know our people in the office don't know who their drivers are so if I send somebody over there you know somebody that was really interested in the job they're gonna know that it was me you know and um, of course they don't want to do all the checks and all this stuff I'm not by any means trying to promote the company i'm not a recruiter so i don't care whether you come over or not but i feel that it's weird that you ask me and you're not really interested but if you are interested let me know and i'll you know i'll gladly you know let you know what it's about you know or what it is but i like to refer people to them because they got all the questions to your answers you know if you're really interested but just let me know about that part so um i did want to touch on that because people always ask me where i'm at and stuff like that if you really want to know and you really want a better your current situation if you want to kind of get home more frequently than you already do or whatever the case may be just just shoot me an email let me know you know your name and you're interested in how many years you've been driving and i'll pass it along that's all i'm gonna do i'm not about to sit here and you know check your reports and check your driving record and all that that's not really up to me but um right now i got some times to have talk to you guys because i'm sitting here at a dock um, I didn't even get started yet. I really don't like coming here. I'm in Barnwell, South Carolina, and then, and I already know. So when I do decide that I'm gonna take this load that'll get me up to North Georgia coming from home, um, I do know it's a little bit of a wait. You know, it's a live load. Um, they got hella trucks out here, so I'm just sitting here waiting. So I got some time to have talk to you guys, you know, and bring you guys up to my current Monday. Um, I was home since Thursday. You know, I got home Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I've been home, you know, and we had a good week. You know, I'm not missing out on anything. Um, and that's what people think. I be listening to videos. I watch a lot of trucking videos just because that's what's really on my feed. But believe it or not, I don't really like watching trucking videos a whole bunch of people because like everybody have different opinion and what you have to realize and understand that it's everybody's situation is different like i'm not i'm not in the amount of debt that you are in so you have to work and you need more money than usual to be able to make it out here you know um and then some people ain't in debt at all like the young guys that are getting into trucking they don't have no debt they don't got no home you know well they got a home because they live with their parents and that's the best thing because now you can get out of your parents house you can get out on the road see the united states of america and you can make money right you don't need a place to stay you just out here stacking you know everybody's situation is different but those of us that got family at home and stuff like that we need to get home and make money try to balance this and balance that and then you got those that are all in debt the super truckers out there they got a big truck payment they need to make two hundred thousand dollars a year because they got you know seventy five eighty thousand dollars in debt that they need to cover every single year and to be able to have some money to enjoy life they got to make two hundred thousand dollars a year the message that i'm trying to convey here is that everybody's situation is different we're all a different everybody's check is going to be different um my check is going to be different than yours your check is going to be different than mine personally i'm about consistency because when i do decide um to go to the next level you guys will know if you sit here watch my channel please subscribe because when i take this thing to the next level then you guys will know i'm talking about working less and making more that's what it's about to me i'm about working less making more you know what i'm saying being home more making over the road driver truck driver owner operator owner operator over the road you know flatbed hazmat whatever whatever people be doing to maximize I want to be making that working less and in order to do that you guys got to stay tuned and watch the journey because um you do not have to be away from home you know 30 days 45 days at a time in order to make money in trucking is you just don't have to do it because it's such a demand you can pretty much demand what you want to get paid out here and of course we all know the money isn't getting your own truck so if you're not traditionally trying to get into the owner op side of things i understand that too um but it's some great paying companies drivers out there too um great paying companies that pay um and then you gotta just 
have to get paid what you're worth. Know what you're worth and then, you know, you can demand that because it's such a demand for truckers right now. So, um, I don't want to make this video too long. I hope you guys took something away from this. And um, just a recap, please, you know, if you're really interested in what I'm doing, let me know. Be sincere about it. I don't need the games. I don't need people just being nosy, wanting to know where I'm working at. Um, also, keep in mind that we all make different money. You know, you make more money than me, cool. That's fine with me. But, you know, your bills ain't my bills. You don't pay my bills. I don't pay your bills. Hell, you don't even know what my bills are, you know? And at the end of the day, we're all going to have to pay taxes, too. So you pay taxes on your money. I pay taxes on my money. You know, and this video is not really for the gurus either. I know y'all got it down packed. Um, this video is for people that are wanting to know what I'm experiencing at the moment. And this is what it is. So right now I'm waiting to get loaded. Figured out how at you guys. It's Monday. Um, we about to kick off a good week. And then um, I'll be back home in a couple days. I am going to spend a couple days out, but I'll be right back home. And then I'll go back out and then I'll be back home for the weekend. And then... You know, it'll be another week in the book. So thank you guys as always for watching my videos. Like, comment, keep it positive. Until next time, I'm gonna see you in the next video. If you need me, you can call me. I stay busy making money. You know.